Young people taking pride in their culture. The 2022 cohort of Indoni King and Queens showcased diverse ethnic groups in a spectacular fashion. Music, dance and traditional wear were the order of the day. The Indoni program advocates for moral regeneration of the youth who are battling various social ills confronting the country. Indoni is about targeting the young black child to know their roots, to know their heritage, but more also to change behaviors because in South Africa all the social ills are actually targeting the young black child. So Indoni has devised programs and training manuals in able to teach young kids about their culture. Indoni is also viewed as a way of empowering communities. One of the things we are training in Doni is that these kids, they have to be agents of change wherever they are in the community. Whatever they have been taught in the Indoni culture schools, they must take it back to their community. But also, we say we are creating young leaders. And I think in this time now when we are looking at who is going to take over even in South Africa, as in Doni, we're stepping forward and we're saying we're going to take that mark first. Previous participants have placed the Indoni program. We are here making a change in Indoni, making a change in our culture and through education. Being part of Indoni made my life more easier because I've managed to accept myself the situation at home because I come from a disadvantaged family. 24 finalists have been selected from the contest in Toyando. They will then represent their respectful tribes during the Mr. and Miss Cultural South Africa pageant in Durban. Katle Khonyoni, SABC News, Toyando.